Yeah. This pussy got power. Stay in it for hours. Yeah, I get what I want. He don't tell me no. These bitches, they hate me. These niggas, they love me. Hey, honeys. So it is Wednesday. I have Carol's daughter oil in my hair. I absolutely love the hair oil. It brings my curl. Well, girl, I'm not gonna lie. My hair's been in a bun. That's why it looks kind of crazy right now. I just took it out of the bun. Before I put it in the bun, girl, my curls were popping. I just been to get in the shower and wash my hair out. Girl, tell me why, tell me why. Please don't be like, if your man leaves you for another woman, don't come at the girl, especially if she doesn't even know you or like, you know what I mean? Like y'all don't know each other at all. You should definitely be mad at the guy because how you mad at me? Yeah, you could be mad at him all day, but you can't be mad at me. I don't even know you and I don't care to, I don't care about fighting with you, arguing with you or none of that. Like me and him are not married. We're like friends before anything. And that's probably why it's so healthy because we understand our friendship. And then sending me paragraphs and stuff talking about he's not only having sex with me, he's having sex with other people. And it's like, girl, I will be queen of the damned, okay? Before I let a baby mama get into my head. Who don't know is we share locations with each other. I know where he's at every day. And he knows where I'm at all the time. And he's with me all the time. So if he had room to do that, you know what? I guess I, I guess I guess he's too good at what he do. But <laughs> girl, I will be damned if I let, I will never let a baby mama get into my head and convince me that I'm getting whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not in a relationship right now. Me and him are just like real, we real cool with each other. Like we blowing me up, talking shit to me and stuff like that. Like I've actually done something to you. It's crazy. Like girl, you popped up on us at the airport. I'm a content creator. Of course I'm gonna put that in my content. But I didn't say nothing bad about you. All I said was like, I would never be in your situation cause I'm not. Like you sitting here making yourself look absolutely ridiculous, especially messaging me. Like what are you messaging me for? And then blowing me up, calling me, video calling me. Like what are we gonna talk about? Girl, look at my hair. And then we're not even gonna be able to talk about because you're gonna be screaming and yelling the entire time. You're not even gonna, do you wanna talk about how I'm going to <laughs> That's really disrespectful. <laughs> Let me not say that, it was disrespectful. I would never be disrespectful like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say anything bad. I don't have anything to say. Like, what am I gonna say? Anything I'm gonna say is gonna make the situation worse. Because, I mean, hey, if I'm getting played, I'm getting played. If I'm not, I'm not. But the last thing I'm gonna do is allow a woman to get into my head, especially when I just told you what I just told you. <laughs> I'm confident in my place, in this person's life. And I think that's how a lot of women also should be like if you're with somebody and you're dealing with drama Always know your place. Don't ever let nobody get in your head. Only you know what's really going on Like only you sorry. I'm trying to make it not look so ugly my hair But you know, I'll be real with y'all. I don't really be caring like I'm this is how it is behind the scenes Only you know what's going on really in y'all situationship relationship friendship, whatever Open relationship however y'all playing only you really know what's going on So don't ever let nobody get in your head and I'm not gonna do that So girl, I'm gonna jump in a shower and we're gonna have date night <laughs> All right, so y'all be wanting to see me whack and so I'm gonna show y'all how I do my whack my hair girl I don't care. This it is what it is. This is how it's looking right now <laughs> The kind of wax that I use I get it from Amazon you can get this from Amazon or at Sally's. I recommend getting it from Amazon because it's way cheaper. It's probably about like $3 cheaper at Amazon. Hey, everybody loves to save money. And then what you're gonna do, girl, is go over to your stove, turn your oven on bake and put it on 300 degrees, start, and then you're gonna put it in the oven. Excuse my oven, it's a little dirty, but I'm gonna get all this stuff clean because I'm gonna start making cooking content and stuff. Once it beeps, it's ready. Start wax it, wax it, hey. But it's really just my armpits, and then I have a little bit of peach fuss down here that I wanna get rid of, cause girl, I'm trying to ride that like a pony tonight. Ride it like a pony. Carol looking at me like, what? I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and then do it, and I'll wash off a little extra with alcohol when I'm done taking a shower. Shower is done. I love this brush I got. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen these type of brushes. It's like for detangling. And look, my roots are already growing back in. I'm not gonna bleach my roots for three months. I'm just gonna go ahead and let them grow out for a little bit. So that way I can give a lot of space between the hair that I've already bleached and the hair that's not bleached because that's not enough growth for me to bleach it. Like it's too close to the hair that I've already bleached and I don't ever want to re-put bleach on my already girl bleached hair. That's a lot of bleach in one sitting. And I put my, I wash my Carol's daughter's oil out with my native shampoo. I'm excited to see how nice my curls look. I just also took out my, I took my wax out the oven this is the type of shampoo that I use Nivea's essentially rich I love did I say shampoo or lotion something's wrong let me take another shot of Henny something's wrong with me hold on 
And then always put this stuff on your booty cheeks. Moisturize them booty cheeks, girl. Wash your booty cheeks, all that. I do not want to see it. No pimple booty cheeks this summer. No blemish booty cheeks. I want to see nice, soft booty cheeks all summer, okay? Let me show y'all how it looks. I'm going to let it get a little bit harder, obviously. Get it hard for me. Get it hard for me. Get it hard for me. Get it, get it hard for me. Nasty. Because I'm going to put this in your mouth. I'm going to put this pussy in your mouth. Don't you tell nobody we fucking. This one of don't say nothing. Don't you tell nobody we fucking. Shut your mouth, nigga. Don't say nothing. Because I'm going to put this pussy in your mouth. I used to put this in the microwave. It really doesn't do anything when you put it in the microwave. Even though it's supposed to I guess but it doesn't like I realized when I put it in the oven it just like cooks it and melts it to a better consistency and while I do that while I wait I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth well I just brushed my teeth yeah I wanted to go out because I've honestly been inside for a minute now just like maybe a couple weeks I wanted to kind of go out and have a little date night so we may or may not have date night today we might wait till this weekend to have date night because I kind of want to go out this weekend but they go out every day so I was like let's go out today but whatever yeah, I'm gonna wait for this to dry because I need some wax and then I'm gonna get dressed and take my dogs outside and I was finished raining. It's been raining all morning. I should have showed y'all. Y'all would have loved it, but I was kind of just enjoying it on the couch. I'm gonna bring you back when I start. Well, bring you back. I'll bring you back to life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check in with y'all when I start waxing. So, girl, you get your waxy wax wax. Hey, yeah, baby. Just like that. And go ahead and get you a fair amount for your armpit. You want to twist it, twist it, twist it, because it can fall off if it's too wet. Mine's a little bit too wet. And push down when you put your wax on that way it, it gets on all that hair. Because that's why it's going to pull up everything if the wax grips all of your hair. I just feel like this is a really thin one, so I'm gonna go back over it. Now, of course, if you wax, if you like have a waxing business, you would naturally throw that stick away after one dip. I know some people that wear gloves and they dip it, scoop it, flip it around to the part that doesn't have any wax on it, dip that and then put it, but you're supposed to throw the stick away. Obviously, it's only me inside of that wax cup, so I'm not gonna do all that technical stuff. And then girl, pull that stuff up. Mm. Yeah, baby. I only had a little few hairs left because I just waxed it. Go. Ah. Woo. Yeah, girl. See? But you see the little hairs? You can kind of see the hairs in there. But got those done. That looks nice. Now, girl, for the, for the fun part. <laughs> I'm gonna wax, wax this cooter cat. Time to rip. Ooh, one, two, three. Ow. Ew. It hurts, obviously. Duh, you're, wax, like you're literally ripping hair out of your coochie. But it's not that bad. And then you just do little piece by little piece. You don't wanna do big pieces, obviously, because it's gonna hurt a little bit more. But me, I literally just do little pieces, little by little, and get that hair out of there off this, off this coach. Just like that. I'm gonna rip this one. Ooh, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. One, two, three, go. Oh, mm. Woo! That was a lot of hair. I know you see that. from the bullshit but if you so for real you could get it wet wet when i took my hey honey i 
I just got done getting freshened up for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and find me something nice to wear. It's a little chilly outside, I can tell because it's chilly in my apartment. And girl, I honestly don't even use my AC like that, literally never, because I always leave the door open and it's either really cool outside or the weather is just good. Sometimes use my heat. I don't know, I've never usually like, I, or I use my AC at night when I'm going to sleep, but during the day, I don't ever have to use it. It's really cool in here, so it's definitely gonna be cool outside. So girl. We got to find something to wear today. I don't know what I want to wear. I'm honestly probably just going to throw on a sweatsuit and call it a day. Because my dogs, I know, are tired of me and they want to go outside. I know they want to go outside. They haven't been outside yet. Because I've been inside, honestly, brainstorming. and just getting my mind together. But I finally, I got it together. Like, I, I, I'm at one. I'm at one with myself. Yeah. I gotta quit spending money. You can't help it. I gotta spend it. It's like inevitable. But I don't even, I'd be buying what I need. So that's cool. Almost. It was a gnats. I think it didn't. I don't know. I've been having gnats. I guess because I need to quit leaving my door so wide open. I need to get a net for my door. I'm going to try to do that. But it's chilly outside and I don't want to do nothing too crazy. I don't want to wear one of my sweatsuits because I'm always wearing them actually. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and throw on this black dress. It's long. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's long sleeve and it's long at the bottom. So I'm just going to throw on that girl. And yo. Let me grab a bra, cause I need to start wearing a bra. I don't ever be wearing a bra. Why could? For my silk suit, but I don't have no shoes to wear with them. I gotta go shoe shopping and I have to quit wearing my Christian Louboutins out. Oh my God, I'm about to clean these. This is disgusting. Hold on, I'm about to clean these. I'm just gonna throw this black dress on. I have a lint roller, but I like to wipe my black off with a wet towel, damp towel. I feel like it gets the lint off way better and it just makes your black look so much cleaner. So I'll just rub it down and get the extra lint off. I didn't feel like doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna throw this on. Probably gonna just throw on my Nike Air. No. So I'm either gonna throw on these or these. More than likely the Nike Air Dunks, black and white. Oh, I might just throw these on because they're a little bit flyer and I have an all black dress on. So really, I could really wear whatever I want. Sorry, I was not picking my nose, but you know what I was doing. Hello itch, hello itch. I'm gonna put my necklace and I'm gonna wear the Dunks because these like should go with something else so let me throw some sulkies on y'all look at these scarecrows like they're really over here sweat like jack in my dog's food look at this look at this scarecrow he peeps the scene first and he be here just eating my dog's food it be a gang of them you see him right there and i can't get him to go away Look, he just having a ball too because he know that's good. This is different food. It's pumpkin. It, 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 it's limited ingredients. And look at him just all hurt. Oh no, they got me. He got, it's two of them. No. <gasps> they got life fucked up. They're going to start breeding over here. They think they got it good. They're like, yeah, mm -hmm, we get good food over here. This motherfuckers. And they're big. Look, look at him. He's huge. Get the, what the fuck? Look, they just keep motherfuckers. I guess I'm kind of like Snow White, you know? <laughs> the animals are attracted to me. And I just ordered me some cool stuff off of Amazon. I wanted to redo my bathroom. Well, not redo my bathroom, because honestly, I'm not really trying to get any more decor because this is not my permanent home. This is just where I'm living for the time being. Until of course, you know, I at least get engaged or something and then I'll get like a house or something. Girl, I wanna show you the stuff that I just ordered off Amazon. And then when it gets here, we're gonna unbox it together and put it up. I'm so stoked. I got me, girl, I went through and I spent a good amount. Wait, let me make sure my address is not anywhere. No, my address is not anywhere on here. I ordered a Polaroid camera. I know I need to stop buying cameras. I have enough cameras as it is. Literally, I have this camera, my waterproof camera, my GoPro, Canon camera behind me. And then I have like literally all of this stuff here. 
money counter, my GoPro, all these type of stabilizers, my gimbals. I just love stuff, I love stuff. And even though I have this beautiful camera behind me and I could literally take all the awesome pictures out in the world and just print them out with my Epson printer, I don't wanna do that. It's just something about having a Polaroid that I think is so dope. You can't edit the picture, it's just raw pictures. Like the color of like the way that they look they look polaroid pictures so I, I like that so that's really why i got me a polaroid a shower filter a vitamin c shower filter heard that the water that comes out of the shower is not good for your hair i am obviously growing my hair out right now and it's doing really good and i will do anything to make sure that my hair continues to grow healthy and just you know just anything so i'm gonna try it and see how it is also bought me a shade protector for my canon camera i'm really big on making my content really good for you guys and the high definition content investing in any type of camera that will make it fun for y'all to watch so that's really why i like to buy um cameras because they're all different you know my gopro yes you can get a waterproof case for your primary camera but i don't know that's not fun like and then you have to put it on take it off put it on take it off and this one my gopro girl i can just literally jump in the pool with it i don't have to put anything on it the speaker is amazing and i like this one because it's small it's little i could take it anywhere this is the company that makes this camera is one of my favorite companies they have so much cool tech techy stuff and i just love to invest in their equipment that they have and you know canon all Obviously, that was a gift that that camera there is a $2,000 camera. It was a gift. That's the camera that, you know, I can, my detailing and stuff like that for you guys. And the Polaroid, honestly, is for me. It's for memories. And I just want to start capturing the moment, scrapbooking, and having something for my kids to see. Because we all, us 90 babies, have seen, you know, us millennials have seen the transition from not having internet to the internet to how everything is now. One day, all this shit can literally go to shit. Like one day, I, who knows, maybe the internet might crack and there goes all of our memory on, you know, all of our data. Who knows? It could happen, it could, I don't know. If anything ever does happen, just like how, you know, sometimes my my Instagram, how it got taken and I didn't have anything backed up. So I'm hope still hoping I'm gonna get that back. Polaroids, you know, you can't, nobody could take those unless you get, you know, house fire or whatever. But I also bought me a Polaroid book to keep all my Polaroids in and just for memories. I love, I'm very sentimental, I'm a cancer, so I love having memories. So that's why I like to get equipment. And then I got some more wall lights for my other apartment for one of the rooms. Um, all the rooms are pretty much decked out. I'm gonna have, um, of course with my massage lounge, the upstairs is gonna be the arcade area and I kinda wanna go ahead and start investing in arcade games. And so I'm gonna be storing them at my other apartment since I don't have any room here. And that way when I do open up my shop, obviously I'm not gonna have that apartment anymore and I'll be able to just move all of the little arcade games that I have already ready from there to my lounge. So I've been investing in stuff to put there. Um, um, and then I got me some stuff for the shower. I got me some wooden floor tiles. I seen them, I saw them on some girl's YouTube channel. I thought it was really cute. Like she put the floor tiles with the, um, like the green leaves that are hanging on my wall in my bedroom. I don't really like the green leaf look in the shower. I think it's like tacky personally. If you have good tile walls in your shower, you don't need to put like leaves and stuff and it. it just doesn't make sense so um i got some wooden panels for the floor in the shower um i got some shower shelves because the shower shelf that i have in there it's hanging from the shower head and it just doesn't have enough space on it for all the stuff that we use in the shower because me and my guy, we both use different shampoos and conditioners and I've been getting him on his hair care because he does have long hair and his hair is really dry, right? Well, it was dry, it's getting a lot better now. Um, and so, yeah, and then my Polaroid book and I got some feminine care for down there. And I only spent about 200 and something dollars. And some of my stuff comes tomorrow and the rest of it will be here on Monday. And so Tuesday, I'll be going back to my other apartment so I can, cause I, I go every other week out there. Um, so yeah, girl, 
I'm gonna go ahead and drink me some sake, even though it's disgusting, and get my little buzz on, girl. <laughs> and wait for my boot thing to get done working. Hold on, how do my lashes look? I haven't been doing individual lashes because, girl, I'm tired of it as, as of right now. I have to perfect my technique. I used to have a really good technique. I guess I've been rushing, and I just haven't been liking the way that they're laid out, and I just I just feel like, I don't know, I'm just, I am just need to get my good technique back first before I just be looking, walking around looking crazy. So I've been using the strips for now. Yeah, girl, get into it. Hey, girl, so I just got back in the house from walking my dogs. <coughs> oh, goodness. My allergies are killing me right now. Oh, whew, girl. Ew, that was an ugly sneeze. Gonna take some Benadryl. Oh my god. It is spring. My allergies get really bad around this time. Always. <clears throat> There's no stopping it. <clears throat> and I know Benadryl is not the best for you, but it works for me. That's all that works for me. I've taken Claritin, I've taken a flu maze, all the, I used to go get allergy shots. I've been allergy tested before. I'm highly allergic to wood classes and obviously dog dander. Um, but I used to get allergy shots, but girl, that stuff is like really expensive. Well, it's not that expensive. It's just $800 for the serum. And then you have to go get your shot every other week, which is like $20. Every time you go get the shot, the more you go, the faster your serum runs out. So you could be out of serum within a month and you have to pay for another production of the serum that you need for you because everybody's allergies are different. And I've had allergies forever. I used to, I remember when I was like 22, 21, I used to always have such bad congestion. I never knew it was wrong with me i used to cry so much and then finally when I got allergy tested because i could not take it anymore and honestly my allergies just started i've been good honestly like i've been great but i'm only gonna take one i'm not gonna take two because i honestly don't want to get sleepy even though my system is very i have a high tolerance for anything i'm gonna get my day started it's noon i've been up since like seven but i was just laying in the bed and just kind of thinking about things and Whatever. I stayed up really late last night. I think I was up to like five. No excuse though. I should still be up early. And out the bed, not just up and in the bed. Hey Pooh. So my boyfriend hit me up and was like, I gotta go out of town. Do you wanna ride with me? And girl, you know, I said yes because I'm really just sitting at the crib, not really doing too much. I'm just editing some footage. I redid my little workspace area, my mic and stuff and all my cameras. I just got me a new camera, my Polaroid there. But girl, so I said yes, I'm gonna go ahead and ride with him. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. It's a last minute trip. We're just going there and coming right back. So I'm not gonna find a dog sitter for my dogs. They'll be fine. I do have a camera for them. Um, I just got out of the shower and did my, let me get into some light, girl. I did my hygiene routine, same shower routine that I did in my last vlog. Next, I'm going to touch my hair up a little bit and pack me an overnight bag. I'm gonna wear this outfit on the road. It's a cute little, let me show you, girl. It's a cute little sweater outfit. Okay, girl, so if you hear a sound in the background, it's my air filters. I have them on high. Let me turn them down a little bit while I'm talking to y'all. Yeah, that's better now that I don't feel like I have to scream. But I'm going to wear this cute color. Of, like, it's plaid color stripe. I just love it. It's cute. I don't usually... I've only worn it once. I've been dying to wear it again. And it comes with the matching shorts. And I've already washed it, so why not? I don't know. Can you pair? I mean, I feel like I could pair the sandals with it because it's already a long leave with short and so with the sandals because i feel like with shoes or boots it would just be too much so i'm gonna wear these nike sandals that i got from hibbits or nibbits whatever what is it hibbits they were like 60 bucks i think they're really cute too so i think this is a cute little you know just go outfit and then i'm gonna take my it's not too bright my vanity light salut it's literally two o'clock in the morning 
This was like super last minute. But girl, you know I'm down to ride, okay. And me and my boyfriend are just on such good, like on a great level right now. And I feel like we're gonna have a really good summer. So girl, I'm just going with the, oop, jail. I'm just going with the vibes. I don't have any kids. I don't have really like any big obligations right now. So why not go? I like the spontaneous, the spontaneous trip. Oh yeah. The girl. Yeah. I like the spontaneous trips and just the fact that you know he even asked me I really appreciate that because he didn't even have to ask me if I want to go you know what I mean he could have really just been like whatever I want to go so I think it's really like I really appreciate the progression in our friendship I'm going to appreciate it and definitely you know take advantage of it while i have it because not everybody runs across someone that they have really good chemistry with so i'm very grateful that i've met someone that i just get along so good with i'm very very appreciative of our relationship for sure He'll be here any minute. I'm gonna go ahead and pack me like a little overnight bag. I'm not gonna take much cause girl, I'm probably gonna be sleeping naked. <laughs> but I'm gonna take me my little Ethica fit and the other fit I showed y'all. Of course some toiletries. I'm gonna pack my bag. Cause I'm really not gonna do much to my hair. I feel like this is cute enough. We're just going and coming back. And not even just that, we're gonna be on the road right now, so I don't gotta be too cute, but I still wanna be cute. And he's gonna come and shower real quick. And I think he's throwing on one of the outfits that I bought him, I'm not sure. I hope he doesn't, cause it's too late. You might as well save it for another day. Yeah, just a little mascara. Girl, let me pack my makeup bag and an overnight bag. My makeup bag isn't really gonna have too many complicated products because I don't really wear makeup. I know that's so annoying for makeup gurus, like, bitch, you don't wear makeup, shut up. I really don't, girl. So I'm just gonna throw in my mascara, a concealer, and a little thingy, one of those things, sponge, a sponge. And my lip liner, some nude lip gloss, a nude lipstick, some more lip gloss, another lip gloss some highlight i'll bring highlight just in case you know i want to spice it up a little bit i'll bring some highlighter you think i'm lying that i don't wear makeup i still have this tarte cosmetic palette if you're a, a makeup guru i'm pretty sure you remember when they first came out with this palette i still have this palette from my first makeup video that i did almost like what eight years ago the banana powder of course is gone but yeah this is what i use for my bronzer so you can tell i barely use like well my contour i don't really i don't know girl it's just not my thing i just feel like i look like a clown when i do my makeup and that's all i'm gonna say like i just don't need it i just, I just look crazy with it i'm gonna bring a lipstick just in case i want to whatever a jungle i'm gonna bring my bonnet well i'm not gonna put my bonnet in my makeup bag that's kind of like suicide for my bonnet i'm gonna put my bonnet in this pocket and then I'm gonna bring a edge brush, some edge gel, a comb, cause I don't feel like my hair being all like jetting everywhere. My jewelry bag. I love these little jewelry boxes. You know, like how they, you can put your rings in there. It's got the plastic or they have the magnetic bags. I love these bags. I'm gonna take my magnetic bag, my magnetic bag. That's the wall. And then I'm gonna get me some toiletries. For toiletries, I'm not really gonna go too crazy because obviously we're just going there and we're coming right back. So girl, I'm really just gonna grab me a toothbrush, some deodorant. I'm gonna grab some of my private whole body deodorant. Gotta have that. Some lotion. I'm just gonna grab my little Jergens lotion. I'm not gonna bring the whole, my big one. I'm gonna bring him a deodorant just in case he forgets to grab one. And I'm actually gonna grab two toothbrushes too, just in case he forgets to, forgets to grab a toothbrush. And I don't really need no hair stuff because I'm not really gonna do my hair like that. Well, I'm, I'm, I'll bring some heat protecting serum because I might go ahead, I'm obviously gonna probably touch up my hair if we're spending the night. What else? I don't really feel like I'm gonna need nothing else. We're gonna be in the hotel. So they'll have towels and soap and stuff. I don't feel like bringing no soap. I'm definitely gonna bring wipes though, just in case they don't have wipes there. 
and I'm gonna bring one of my perfumes. Since it's a nice little night trip, I'm gonna bring my musk perfume that I got from Target, the Fiery Autumn Musk. I really like this perfume. I'm gonna just bring this one, and then I'm gonna bring my Louis Vuitton, my big Louis Vuitton bag, because I'm probably gonna bring my laptop, and I'm probably gonna edit some footage, so that way I don't have to fit everything in my backpack. But let me go ahead and put this stuff in here. So I'm good on this. And my wipes. Boom. I'm gonna put that on the side just because I want to grab it. Let me grab the rest of my stuff in my closet. Oh, it's right here. The rest of my toiletries, girl. I'm just gonna throw them in there. You know, organization really. Look at me all excited to go out of town and stuff. Road trip. Oh. My Ethica night suit. And then I'm also gonna bring a Nike dress to wear for tomorrow when we leave. It's probably gonna be hot. It's more than likely gonna be hot. So I'm just gonna bring this Nike dress that I got from Hibbits. It was $45. I'm gonna pair it with those Nike white sandals that I showed y'all. That way I don't have to pack too many shoes. And then let me just fold the dress at least like a little nice so it has a nice slit in it. So I'm not like, I'm gonna roll it up though. And then let me bring some extra panties and a bra. Wait, there we go. Pink, pan pink panties, black bra. Girl, I have to go panty shopping. Like, I'm so tired of spending money, but <sighs> gotta do some every day. And that way I don't have to bring socks either because I'm gonna wear my sandals. And I'm gonna bring, I might bring my slides because I don't really want to be walking around the hotel room without no socks on. So let me bring a pair of socks. I'm barefoot. So I got an outfit for tomorrow, night fit. Well, I'm done drinking that red wine. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I need to eat something. I ate earlier, but geez, I didn't realize I was that hungry until now. No more wine. And that's it. I'm not gonna do my makeup all crazy. Oh, and well, yeah, my purse. Purse is pretty much packed up. I'm gonna bring my gun, of course. Protection. My wallet. My sunglasses. I'm gonna bring my gold Versace shades. Because for some reason, my top keeps ripping. I'm gonna go ahead and sew it though, because I definitely wanna wear it. All right, wish poppin' vlog. I wanted to show y'all the OOTD. Well, the OOT, OOT night, OOTN, outfit of the night. Because girl, it is nighttime. It is literally three o'clock in the morning and I just finished getting dressed. And I really like this, it's really cute. Especially with my, let me show you. I'm not gonna turn any lights on because I kind of want y'all to get the whole like nighttime feel because it is literally three o'clock in the morning. But these are cute. Look at the shoes. I freaking love them. I think my legs look really nice. And this, you know, it's giving. It's giving it's cold, but it's hot outside. It's giving it's cold, but it's hot outside. I'll turn on a little bit more lights so y'all can see better. So. I love it, this is really cute. It's giving, it's cold, but it's hot. It's giving, you know, modest, but sexy. And then I love these, Cairo, move. I love the Nike sandals, the high platform. They're really cute. They give my legs some more like extension. So now I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to get here and then we will head out. I'm already packed up. I'm gonna go ahead and take my dogs for a walk, but I'm gonna wait till he gets here. That way I can let him in. And then once he gets in the shower and stuff, I'm gonna take my dogs out and girl, we're gonna get ready to chunk up the deuce. I'm excited. I haven't been on a road trip in a while. So it'll be fun, you know, I guess. We'll see. A little car karaoke, a little hot box. Little this, little that, little 21 question. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon. I look a mess. I know, but there's a butterfly in here and I'm trying to get him out and I don't want to kill him because I killed his brother yesterday. And I feel bad. Oh wait. Oh, he's right there. Okay. I sprayed his brother with raid. I feel bad about it, so. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get him out without killing him. I look a mess, but girl, let's. Let's see how we can do this, because I'm going to try, girl. I don't want to kill him. 
He came this far, and one of his wings is already fucked up. Just had him. Come here, man. Like I know you know I'm trying to help you. Look, he's right there. Look. Right there. I don't know, it's a moth, I think. I don't want to kill him though. Come here. Bruh, I'm trying to save you. Come here, I got you. Oh shit. I'm gonna try to grab him and get him to go outside. He's right there. And I don't wanna kill him. Where's he at? Wait, can you see him? Wait, he's right there. Right there. I don't wanna kill him because I killed his brother yesterday. I sprayed him with Raid. And I just feel really bad about it, so. I feel really bad about it. So I'm gonna like try not to kill him. And I'm gonna try to get him to get his ass outside. <clears throat> Let's see if I could do this. Okay. Come here, you know I'm trying to help you, like you know I am. Just come. I got you, I got him. Look, I got him in my hand. Look, look, watch. I'm gonna set him free. Look, I got him. <laughs> Shh. You're welcome. <laughs> Go, fly away. This is like a movie. Go. You're outside. Did I hurt you? Go. Lift off. Get out of here. Oh my goodness. He gonna get off my hand now. Go. Are you okay? Did I hurt you? Fuck, I think I hurt him. Go. Oh shit. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Hey vlog, I wanna give all my mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. I don't have a relationship with my mom, but that's okay, because I'm still a dog mom, <laughs> in a sense. I know it's not the same thing, but it is what it is. I 
am just not getting up out the bed, actually. I was letting everybody enjoy their Mother's Day. Of course, Mother's Day is a big day for a lot of people because, you know, you didn't push a whole human being out of your cooter. And women should definitely be appreciated on this day because, you know, it's, it's, it's a woman's day. And women, they deserve this day to, you know, get, go get pampered, flowers. For me, I have not celebrated Mother's Day in a very long time. And I'm actually about to get ready uh, real quick to go take my dogs for a walk because I need to go take them out. But I just wanted to, I haven't talked to y'all all day. And I just kind of wanted to, you know, give my input on how I'm feeling about today. I'm going to just throw on some sweats. I need to wash clothes again. I'm always washing, girl. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I did them most of my sunday i don't really have a sunday reset mainly because i clean up every day with me having three dogs cleaning up once a week a deep cleaning once a week is just not my thing but i'm actually gonna do that when i get back inside because i know my dogs really want to go out so i'm just gonna find a top kind of a sweater top or something to throw on so i could just walk them with the black sweat so i could be matching there we go. I'm just gonna put my black sweats on my black zodiac shirt, and I'm gonna throw on some slides and just call it a day when I get too dressed up. But of course, sometimes I wish things didn't turn out the way that they did with my family. Of course, you know, sometimes I miss them and want and just think about. Well, very rarely. I don't really just sit there and like think about the way things used to be because it's just been so long. I know a lot of my supporters actually care and they really just want to know because, you know, I'm so beautiful and successful and some people just, you know, want input on like, why are you not closer with your family? Like, what's going on? How come you don't talk to them? Like, do you want to talk to them? Do you want to reach out? And honestly, I have no yearning to reunite with my family. I haven't spoke to my mom or had a relationship with my mother literally since I was 15 going on 16 years old. And after that much time, you know, things happen, feelings fade away. And I've been almost without my mom the same amount of time that I was with her. So it's been over a decade. In a couple more years when I turn 30, it'll have been, I will have been without my mom the same amount of time I was with her. So when that much time goes by, feelings change, you know? And I know that's weird to say like, your feelings change towards your mom, but they, they have. You know, I don't really feel a connection anymore. I know my hair looks a hot mess. I've literally been inside just being a slug all Sunday. Not because I'm sad or anything, but it's just Sunday and I, for once, I didn't want to do anything. So I decided to answer inside and just try not to spend any money. But I ended up spending money anyway and I'm going to go spend some more money because I'm about to go grocery shopping. Because I want to meal prep. Oh girl, I'm getting off subject. I'm gonna spray myself a little body spray. I'm gonna put my hair up. But yeah, I've been without my mom for about the same amount of time that I was with her. What I mean by that is 15 years and another 15 years, you know, been without her for the same amount of time that I knew her. You know, I wouldn't, I'm not going to sit here and act like my mom just raised me wrong or didn't care about me or like was just a, just a bad mom. My mom was not a bad mom. You know, she was a good mom. It was just a point in our lives where she went mad or, you know, just like kind of lost her mother motherly touch within with doing that you know a lot of us were introduced to the streets my other sisters went back and you know reunited and made up with my mother from what I can see they you know have a relationship with her I'm kind of the only one that just never went back you know I'm a cancer when my feelings get hurt they get really hurt <coughs> <coughs> So yeah, girl. Yeah, my feelings, I guess at that point in my life got so hurt to the point where I was just like, you know, forget it. Like, it's time to move on. And I really don't really know how to, I really don't know how to explain it or put it into words. That's just how I'm built. And I think that's what has made me the way I am with relationships and friendship just in general. The moment someone mess up and, or does something disloyal or just moves weird, I immediately cut them off. You know, no asking questions, no if, ands, or buts, no, you know, explaining, you know, not me telling you how I feel about you doing this. I just cut them off. And I know that stems from my relationships that I have with my family because they were, my mom was so quick to shut us out. That's all I really know when I get upset with someone is how to shut them out. 
I definitely am working on that because I don't want to, I don't want to be, I'm not saying I don't want to be like my mother because I don't know her, which is so strange just to say, but I don't know my mom. I don't know where she's at in her life. I don't know if she's, you know, doing good. I'm pretty sure she is. She's always been doing good, but I don't know where she is at at this point in her life. I would hope she's, you know, doing great. But when I say I don't want to be like her, I'm saying in a sense of I don't want to shut people out when I get upset. So I'm learning how to talk to them. And that's really, really, really why I love the man that's in my life right now, because he makes it so easy for when we get into conflict to talk about it. You know what I mean? To meet up face to face and talk about it. Not text, not talk on the phone, to meet and talk. I love him so much for that. Oh, sorry, I literally just got out of bed and stuff. It's so late. I don't know why I've been so lazy today, but whatever, I'm about to make up for it. But she wasn't a bad mom. My mom actually raised us really good, you know? She, I never remember going to school with dirty clothes, my hair messed up, my hair not done, hungry, without new shoes. My mom always made sure that we had the best and that we were presentable to society for sure. And even behind closed doors, we were very well taken care of. It's just at one point in time, something had happened, which I'm not gonna get into detail about. And it just kind of turned my family all against each other. And in the midst of that, you know, people started showing out adults you know started showing out i guess against their you know just not putting that forth that much effort or just really just not caring anymore and it just took a toll on me after a while like not being like going to going to school angry just you know all this stuff acting out getting into fights getting kicked off the cheerleading team graduating a year early just so many things that i went through because my family was falling apart and so when I was forced to, you know, get out into the streets and find my way, and of course, if you want more details into my whole life story, I have a vlog about it. I'm not really gonna get into my life story. This is just more so like a Mother's Day vlog for, you know, my view and why me and my mom aren't close. So if you want more in de depth detail, I have, a, I already have a vlog up. <clears throat> I don't hide anything about my life. I'm very proud of my background and where I come from and how where I am now, because so many girls go through it. And I wanna be that light, you know, like you can go through those things and still become and still be a good woman. So, when I had to, you know, go fend for myself or just learn how or acting out and things like that, it's not like I was thrown into the streets, you know, I was I was left with my grandparents, they're too old to watch me, I was acting out. So, you know, it's just, from, you know, I just, just things, I'm not gonna get too much into it. If you really wanna know, go to those vlogs, cause I feel like I just don't wanna repeat myself too much. But with being introduced to, you know, the streets and having to fend for myself, time went by, you know, and not even, it's not like I couldn't have gone back to make up with my mom. I'm pretty sure I could have, but when you're out here fitting for yourself, you're not, I'm not, I wasn't really thinking about my family. I wasn't thinking about, oh, I need to go make up with my mom, I need to go talk to them, none of that. I was thinking about where I'm going to eat where I'm gonna sleep, how I'm gonna get some money, how I'm gonna feed my dogs. You know, those are the things that were on my mind going into my 20s. Cause I moved to Dallas when I was 19 years old. Tw my 20s is when I just started getting into the whole waitressing game, the strip club, sugar baby game, finesse and getting money. You know, 20s is when I was introduced to that lifestyle. So that's what I, my mind was at. My mind was on, you know, where am I gonna, how am I gonna eat? How, where am I gonna sleep? Where are my dogs gonna be at? So I was never thinking about them. And by the, before you know it, you know, it's been 10 years and I've been out here making a way for myself. It just felt like, you know, that life that my upbringing, who I was raised with, my family, they just became a myth in a sense. Like it became like a dream. Like what is family? I don't even know my family anymore to be honest. And it's kind of sad to say. It doesn't make me sad. I'm completely over it. When I was younger, 19, 20, if you like 18, 19, if you were to ask me about my mom, I probably would start crying. But now I'm like completely over it. And I just don't, um, I don't feel a need to go back. I don't care to go back and um, reunite and make up. And it's just more so like, you know, what happened, happened. I think a family relationship is so beautiful. I admire those who have a relationship with their family, but I don't have one and that's okay too. And if you feel like, me, I feel like reuniting with my family would just honestly serve me no purpose. I feel like we're at, even though we haven't spoke, I feel like we're at completely different stages in our lives and being apart so long I wouldn't I, I don't like to disappoint myself on purpose so I wouldn't want to purposely disappoint myself like I don't want to but what I mean by that is 
I don't want to have this narrative in my head of how things are going to go and then I'd be let down. I don't have time for any more disappointments on that end. I feel like I've been disappointed enough as far as family goes. I was been disappointed from 15 to now and I refuse to put myself in a position to be further in a hole of disappointment on that end. I feel like it's, it is what it is. I was let down to the fullest. I feel like mainly as, you know, being a young teen, I feel like that's when my family should have fought for me the most to, you know, be in my life. And that's okay, they didn't. They probably didn't know any better. But it's too late now for me, I feel like. And I would not put myself in a situation to be disappointed again. Because I don't know, I don't know my mom anymore. I don't know my stepdad. I don't know my sisters. I don't know how they behave. I don't know their characteristics. We're different. We always have been and we always will be. And I refuse to put myself around people who... I I don't know how their response is going to be to my presence because I am who I am now. Um, I am a, I'm the woman that I am. And in society, the way I'm viewed as, you know, a stand up, chest out, head up woman, I don't want to walk into a room with people who have not seen me since I was 15, see the woman that I am, and I don't want any type of weird energy. Because I don't know how I would react to that. And I don't even want to give myself room to be around people who would judge me that are so close. Or maybe they wouldn't judge me, or just, you know, just asking weird questions, or just not who what I thought it would be. Be, maybe like just you know we won't get along like you know that may not have I don't know manners behavior characteristics all type of things come into why I wouldn't want to reunite I just don't really care to like we know we knew each other we had each other at one point in time that's who raised me and my mother did raise me right you know I hope she's proud of where I am in my life she sees this ever sees this video you know I definitely have love for her but it's weird like I just don't really feel like I have a mom you know I feel like I was I was raised about where it cuts off at and that's so sad, right? But that's why <clears throat> I don't play when it comes to having children. I refuse to let kids come into this world and, you know, feel any way, way that I felt or feel how I'm feeling about my mom. Or I, I, I refuse. But at the end of the day, if she ever does see this video, I don't want her to think I'm talking down on her or anything. I'm really just saying how I feel. And I just don't know my mom anymore. And I just don't want to, I don't want to have that conversation. I don't want to sit down and it would just be so weird this many years later sitting down and talking to her. And it's going to be like, what are, what's, what are we going to talk about? Like, okay you're gonna say probably sorry for putting me out the house at a young age you know or you'll probably try to blame it on me or you know we'll talk and of course the things that I've done to get where I am now are that's gonna come up I don't care at least I'm not a teen mom you know what I mean at least I'm not out here with hella baby daddies and stuff at least I'm taken care of so I don't really care if my past brought up but it's like I went through these things because you were not there for me as a mom now I'm not, I can't just sit here and blame it all on her but then again I was only 15 16 years old so who's the blame really on and I'm not saying I have any type of like animosity because I don't I don't care enough to have animosity but it's just on days like this Mother's Day because I think about it and I have to reflect on it because that would mean that I don't have any type of conscience if I just completely dismiss the fact that I once had a mother but it's just like it is what it is and it, it just would be a very weird situation for me and I just don't even I feel like we would talk and I would just not speak to her again you know we would have that talk and I would go back to my life I'm not gonna hey mom you know how are you what's up got going on or just it's just it's just not not me and it's just once I'm done I'm done and I'm sure my mom knows that because she's the one who had me um I know I was a mean baby I never used to let people hold me I was always a mean baby I was always I would never speak to anybody so I'm sure my mom knows that um she really hurt me with that I just turned my back and went about my way but my mom used to always tell me that she always knew that I would be okay you know what I mean when I started messing up she was like I'd never you know I started sneaking out and stuff because my mom would never let me do shit I started sneaking out when I was like 17 girl and so you know she was like I never thought I had to worry about you I always would walk past your room and know she's okay and I was like yeah like but you know at a certain point you have to let your girl be a girl like talk to you about boys or whatever she never would and so you know just one thing led to another I started sneaking out I wasn't a bad kid like I wasn't no a hoe sleeping around and stuff like that child please boys were like literally the last thing on my mind I was always in my own world same as now which is why girl whatever we're gonna talk about it later I'm not gonna talk about that with mothers and stuff but <laughs> Yeah, I just want to give my little input because people keep asking me and then it's just, I don't know. I don't ever want people to try to think that they could lowball, like, lowball me. Like, you can't hurt me with my past, especially when I air my own past out. And then, like, when people are in the comments asking, you know, about, about my family, is it too personal? And it's like, if it was too personal, I wouldn't bring it up. You know what I mean? So if you want to ask something, say it with your chest. Don't peek around the, like, the tree, especially when you're in comments. Like, at least have, you know, have some heart to ask a question. Don't be a little bitch about it. Just like, 
like period i'm not even i'm not even a, i don't hide about my own life so yeah but i don't have any any need or any yearn to reunite with my family talk to any of them i hope they're doing great i hope you know they're happy i hope my mom um i hope she's found peace if she feels any type of bad way of me and her not having a relationship if she ever sees this i want her to know like i forgive you i forgive you but i also have to forget you because that's just not a relationship that uh i would want to mend um too much damage has been caused from that relationship for me to want to go back to it and so it's just one of those things like i appreciate the relationship i appreciate what i was taught between a mother and daughter fallout i forgive you i love you um well oh, that's weird to say i love you that's so mean but i don't know i don't even think i love my mom that's like a lie i feel like i love you like what how i haven't said that in forever it's definitely gotta be that just felt so weird coming out of my mouth but i forgive you and <clears throat> gotta forget you I, I have love for you and i hope you know you're doing good i hope you're at a good place in your life taken care of hope roy is still taking good care of you hope your grandparents are loving you and you know about it of course one day i'm gonna get married and stuff and i'm gonna have to establish my side of the groom but i'm not really worried about that i feel like i have people in my life that really love me that are gonna be there for me and so yeah I just wanted to get that off my chest in a very humble and like real way and not really just be like because I was gonna set the camera up do my makeup and do a whole letter to my mom but I was just like that is just so tr tacky like, I just wanted to like really just get it off my chest what I have to say and I didn't really I don't even really have much to say I just feel like this is the day like maybe I want I de definitely wanted to do a letter to my mom video because I have never I've, I haven't spoken to her so long and I'm pretty sure she you know she I don't know she'd be wondering I know she'd be I don't know I don't know but how could you not I'm your I'm like I'm your daughter I don't know I really don't know but just wanted to let her know I forgive her I'm not sad I'm not in any type of a bad environment with it headspace you know I don't think bad about you i don't i think you raised me great you're beautiful you're beautiful we didn't laugh and that's okay and maybe it was for the better maybe it was just whatever you know it's, it definitely was to make me the woman i am today to all the other mothers out there don't give up on your kids when they mess up especially your girls you know that's when they need you the most when they are messing up that's when they really want to talk to somebody so if you shut them out you never know how they're going to react because they might shut you out and they might shut you out for good so talk to your kids no, don't be friends with your kids, but at least be a listening ear to them so you know what your kid is going through, what your kid is, you know, feeling or what they're experiencing and just be there and have someone to talk to because if not, they're going to turn to someone else. Once that happens, you might lose your kid for good because, child, I ain't never going back. I have no desire to go back. To all my young women out there who don't have a relationship with your mother, I um, want you to know I'm here for y'all. You, you got this. We got this. And we'll be great mothers one day or we'll have our own Mother's Day. But for now, I'm about to go walk my dog. Now that I got that off my chest, I feel a lot better, honestly. Hey, vlog. I'm just pop back and drop in. Let me see how I'm really looking. I look kind of cool, though. It's early in the morning, girl. It is literally like 7 a.m. Yeah, it is 7 a.m. I had to bring a friend to check in with their probation officer. Ooh, criminals, right? Dealing with criminals. But no, I'm a good friend. So I'm here waiting for my friend to get finished checking in. And I'm gonna drop them off. Then me and my man are gonna go grocery shopping because girl, I don't have no, I ain't got no groceries at the crib. I just cleaned out my fridge yesterday and I was gonna go grocery shopping, but I was waiting on my man to come, my, my guy, because I wanted to go grocery shopping together. I wanted him to help me. You know, I'm trying to let people help me do things nowadays, starting with little things. <laughs> but we didn't go, it was raining and I was really just sluggish yesterday, it was Sunday. But it's Monday and the pace seems really good. One person just got done checking in. There was only three people that I seen come. <clears throat> so after see that he's good. Let's go. I know y'all hear that rain. I'm on hold. shopping and I need to get my laptop fixed 
but girl this dark cloud came above my apartment and I just knew it was gonna piss rain and it is pissing rain so I'm going back home because it's not about how you drive it's about how others drive and others drive crazy so I'm about to get my butt back home and wait for this storm to pass or I'm actually gonna pull over because I can't see I'm actually gonna pull over because I can't even see. Hell no, I'm not dying. Not today, not tomorrow, but not anytime soon. So I'm just sitting here and wait, I guess, because I cannot see anything. It is pissing rain, like. <clears throat> I really wanted to get some grocery shopping done and I wanted to get my laptop fixed so now I'm definitely gonna have to wait it's raining really bad too I don't want to drive because I can't see thankfully I have a little joint to smoke while I'm waiting like them BMWs and BMWs look really nice. Girl, it's raining hard. I don't even know why people are driving. No, thank you. I'm sitting here waiting for Best Buy to answer the phone. I'm gonna see if they can help me with my laptop. So girl, I spilled juice on my laptop and my charger port port damaged. And I know this because I took it to a repairman who I always go to to fix my phones and he took it apart for me and let me know what's wrong with it but he can't fix that. And I got my laptop from Best Buy, so. I'm waiting for this storm to go. I value my life. It's not that I can't drive. I just got new tires, but people don't know how to drive and I don't have time to wait for them. That is Texas weather for your ass. Back in Dallas, Texas, it is 80 degrees. <laughs> Sun's out buns out hide your husband i'm joking girl don't hide your husband <laughs> that's bad i'm not gonna say that hide your man girl <laughs> hide your man but husband's still a whole girl that's another story anyways we're gonna go grocery shopping i look a hot mess i think i'm getting sick i'm gonna feel a little something bear but i'm gonna give me some wine and get all the stuff that i need to do my meal prep because i want to meal prep we're gonna get lots of vegetables meat uh, maybe some fish, of course, obviously fish, salmon, um, chicken, breasts, I like chicken breasts, I don't really like chicken leg or whatever. Well, I can't believe this man was driving in the rain with his motorcycle. I'm going to tell his mama on him. So, girl, first from Amazon because I want to start meal prepping especially when I go out of town because I don't be here for my man when I'm gone he's on his own when it comes to eating good I decided I would start meal prepping just for both of us so I would have food to take with me out of town and he'll have food to eat while I'm here I know that sounds weird but I do grocery shop here in Dallas for my apartment in my another state because I drive there, so I'll just drive my groceries there. And I was like, might as well, might as well meal prep. Because I really don't grocery shop for there since I'm hardly ever there. I don't want the food to go bad. But so I got me a whole bunch of meal prep stuff off of Amazon. They're just containers. I'm going to try to take care of them so I can maybe reuse them. But let me go ahead and show y'all what this looks like. So they are just containers let's take them take this out the bubble wrap i'm actually just gonna flip it Ooh, put the knife over there so they are just easy prep three compartment meal prep containers they come with the tops and the bottoms and then it comes with 
three separate compartments, obviously, because you don't want to be eating too much. So you want to portion your servings, girl. Then, girl, I got me some Fenu Greek seed vegan capsules. I heard these are like really good for your, they're like sexual enhancement vitamins and they kind of like assist in your performance in a type of a way and but i've heard some good things about these for the bedroom and me and my guy already like child we're both cancers 69 sign so we just be in, in here you know it's a love nest up in here and sex life is really good as of that i mean why not make it even better like my sex life is great like i just having another cancer to interact with definitely let me know like see this is why girl i just love it like everything's good in the bedroom you know just the freaky side of me just kind of wants to turn it up even more so i got me some of these vitamins y'all definitely i'm gonna let y'all know what i think about them then i got me some hydro hyaluronic acid girl i didn't know that you could actually digest hyaluronic acid it's really good for your body and then also it's really good for lubricating. So it's gonna make that punani super wet. A lot of other things, lubrication for skin and joints. My joints for sure need some lubrication. I'm pushing 28. Thing I'm starting to realize as you get older, you know, you really gotta take care of yourself. And this punani, is, I really bought it for that because girl, you know me, like <laughs> I'm a cancer. I just like to be the best I could be up in the bedroom. So that's really why I got it, but it says skin and joints. So I'm gonna let y'all know if I notice a difference in my joints. Next from Amazon, I got me some stuff for my coffee pods because I love coffee and I wanted to kind of, my coffee looking cute. So I got me this Kim Up. 30, it holds 36 cups for my Keurig machine. Fancy, just, you know, something to make the kitchen look a little cuter. As when it comes to making content, like lifestyle content, details are really important. Let me show you what I got from the grocery store. Some agua, of course. Oh my God. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, so I spent, like I showed y'all, um, been 4 .19. The reason why I spent so much is because, obviously for myself, I've been cooking, but girl, I've also been trying to take care of my man. As you know, I have decided to, I found somebody that I really am interested in and I wanna take seriously. So every time, I don't know, that's just me. When I shop, every time I shop, I shop for both of us. Like if I go buy me some clothes, I'll buy him something. Or like if I go to buy me some perfumes, I'll buy him a body spray. That's just the kind of person that I am. I am a cancer woman, I'm very considerate. So I bought a lot of food. That way I could meal prep for us. And when I go out of town, he'll have good food to eat. And just also for myself, I wanted to just get a whole, cause usually, girl, with me, it's I have peanut butter and peanut butter, but I don't have no jelly. I have spaghetti noodles, but I don't have no sauce. So I tried to make sure that I got everything. So to start off with, girl, I got salmon. I got two salmon. I do eat red meat. If you don't like meat, don't watch this girl because I will never be a vegan. I'm sorry, but girl, I gotta have some meat in my system. I like red, I like white. I am a carnivore. I'm, I'm an omnivore. I eat meat, I eat veggies, and I'm very healthy. You know, at this point, at this day and age, everything is bad for you. Okay, so eat what you want to eat. I'm not gonna tell you what to eat, and I, I highly would really, I would really appreciate it if y'all don't try to tell me what to eat either. We got baby spinach. I got us some sweets. I got the strawberry shortcake cupcakes. I got a veggie tray. I'm really into this lettuce. I like my lettuce really crunchy. For my coochie coo board, I got me some pita chips and some bagel chips. And then for bread, I got the cinnamon bagels. I got oat toast this time. I usually get, ooh, my bread kind of got smashed. I usually get um, a different type of bread, but I wanted to try something new, so I got the wholesome oat bread. Okay. I feel like I'm getting sick. I really hope I'm not. I just feel hot, and I just hope I'm not getting sick because I totally made out with my guy earlier, and I hope I didn't get him sick. On to the next. I got some cookies. I got Oreo cookies, fudge stripe cookies, and chocolate chip avoid cookies. 
excited to cook. I might either cook tonight or tomorrow, depending on my guy's schedule. But I wanted to make us stuffed pineapples. Uh, this restaurant that I go to, they have a meal on it. It's called Campignano's or something like that. And basically, it is a cut in half. I don't even need to get two. I should have just got one. But it's a cut in half pineapple. And in it is cheese, shrimp, chicken, beef, veggies, and it's so good. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw some rice in there just to spice it up some. But yeah, so I got two pineapples. Well, I only should have got one, but it's okay. I'm going to save the other one for maybe I'll just do a Campagnano's dinner again. <laughs> I wasn't thinking when I got two. And then in this bag, I got my coffee maker, 0% fat, French vanilla. And then I got me some block cheeses for my coochie coo boards. I love me a good coochie coo board. Like I'm a snacker, so I like to, you know, go in the room, lay around, smoke, have my coochie coo board with my cheese, my nuts, my ranch, my meats, my pepperonis, my hams, chocolate, pickles. You know, I do the whole nine with my coochie coo board. And I'm kind of mad because I just realized I didn't get no pepperonis. For my coochie coo board. So I'll probably just use the ham for now, but we'll see. <clears throat> I got some cheese dices of the pepper, back, pepper jack cheese. I got roast beef for the sandwich, sandwich meat, some butter, and some mini potatoes for sides. Cause I got a whole bunch of meat. I already got um, chicken breast and stuff in the fridge, in the freezer. And this part about being a woman, I really like, you know, going grocery shopping, cooking, getting the house together. I enjoy these things. I know some women look at it like I'm, you're having to do a lot, but I don't know, I think that's things women should do. A man should provide you money to go grocery shopping with. <laughs> I got, I love me some Tostitos cheese. I put this in a lot of stuff, my eggs, my whatever. Like I'm gonna put it in these pineapples too. Cheese is just the ish. And Monterey Jack cheese, this, oh, this isn't even Tostitos cheese. This is Monterey Jack queso medium. Oh, it's a Kroger's brand. I didn't even know that. It's really good. And then I got some chicken noodle soup because Progresso, I'm just feeling like I'm a little sick and I just wanna eat some chicken noodle soup. And I just love this chicken noodle soup. Then I got some liquor. I've actually stopped drinking tequila, but I stopped drinking hard liquors mainly because, girl, I don't act right. I've been through too many things. I start acting up. I get into fights with my friends and just, you know, things, just girl demons literally are trying to come out of my body. They said spirits for a reason. And so I just realized, you know, drinking hard liquor just really is not for me. It makes me the pers a person that I don't want to be. It makes me a very aggressive, violent person. I don't like. Sometimes I'd be happy, but if I'm around, if I'm around the bad, bad energy, I sense it and I act on it. Like no matter what, if I'm around my friends, good people, good energy, I'm literally the happiest person. But once someone with bad energy comes in between that, and I've been drinking, girl, I'm going for blood, and it's crazy. So I don't like that side of me, and I don't want that side of me anymore. I'm trying to. I am 28 now. And I'm at the stage in my life where I want to settle down. I want to get serious with somebody. I'm, you know, being serious about my career. I've had my fun and I don't have time for mess ups and I don't have time to be bruising myself, you know, assault charges. I don't have time for that stuff. So girl, rosé, I've got a whole bunch of rosés actually. I got this Brett Rose rosé. I'm loving Moscato right now. So I got this Rosada Moscato. I need to get Nicki Minaj's mixed Moscato. I got some margarita mix. Well, it's not margarita mix, it's a margarita drink. I got this 19 Crimes with Snoop Dogg. I've had the red wine and then I seen the rose. So I wanted to get the rose too. And the rest are at the bottom, but I got some beer, obviously. And I got one more rose or a Moscato, I can't remember. I got me some broccoli. I really hate how it's just out in the open like that, but it's okay because you're supposed to wash your broccoli off anyway. I got hella broccoli, cilantro, and asparagus. That was, and then I had no condiments. I had zero condiments, no ketchup, no mayonnaise, no ranch, no nachi. Well, no, I got hot sauce, obviously. Well, of course, hot sauce out of everything. But girl, I got me some Thousand Island. I don't like mayonnaise. I like Thousand Island dressing on my sandwiches. I got some extra virgin olive oil for cooking ranch because my guy, he loves him some ranch. Need some of this Scotch Bonnet mango sauce. 
for the pineapples that I'm gonna make tonight. I, this just looks like it goes for it, for sure. I got some cut up watermelons and some onions. I've been really into adding onions into my recipes for food. I honestly didn't realize the impact that onions have on your food. It's like a really good, I'm fucking with the onions. Next, we got some shrimp for the meat. Beef tips for the pineapples. I'm gonna put beef tips in there with shrimp and chicken pieces. And then I got some raspberries for fruit. Some sweet potato. I just wanna try making sweet potatoes, but I'm gonna have to wait because I didn't get no brown sugar. And I'm gonna definitely need some brown sugar for sure. Next, I got some warm up foods for breakfast time. In the morning, we're both very active. I'm trying to get up and get stuff done. And sometimes we just trying to, you know, go at it and whatever. We don't really have time in the morning to cook breakfast because we're just whatever, doing our own things. And even for myself, so I decided to get some Jimmy Deans. I know sausage is not good for you, but right now, girl, I have seen so many videos of how many things are bad for you. And I've seen so many fitness trainers. I. I'm really into the fitness trainers that don't go by a specific diet. There's so many trainers right now that I'm onto that don't have a diet, they eat whatever they want. It's all about working out, taking your vitamins, you know, health and wellness. You can really eat whatever you want, obviously. You know, people have been eating meat forever and all type of stuff forever. It's just all about the things that you include in that eating whatever you want. You know, your vitamins, working out, all that. But I got some nuts for my Coochie Coo board. Some lemons and some limes. I'm gonna start cooking with lemons and limes. Some more cheese. This is Asiago cheese. I got an Asiago cube. I got a blue cheese cube. And then I got a, um, this is a Gouda. Yellow cheese, whatever, you know, whatever. So some cheeses. I've never had, I don't even know if I've had Asiago. I just wanted to try them out. Some white rice. And some whipped cream for ice cream and just, you know, I don't know. I wanted to put this on his private parts and lick it off. <laughs> some pickles. I got Boar's Head Kosher Dill. These look like really fancy pickles. So yeah, girl, I had to get them for my Kuchiku board and for the sandwiches. And I got some more cheese, honey mustard. My guy likes honey mustard. So I figured he'll like that on his sandwiches. I got honey for you know for tea for just I like putting honey on different stuff it's so good I don't know if you've ever had honey on um, your Brussels sprouts girl try it and thank me later then we have some more rosé this bottle is really cute I got some croissant bread for the breakfast time girl I got free pomegranate thingies that Kylie Jenner be eating so yeah, I got something for free, yay. Some mint ice cream, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer for my guy. If you've been watching, you already know he is a mint ice cream head and it is already melting. So let me wipe it and put it in the freezer. I'm sorry, my energy is not really up there. I feel like I'm getting sick. I got apple juice. Girl, they had a two for five special. Two for five dollars, so you know I had to tap in. I got some apple juice. Cranberry and raspberry juice. Had to get two more. I got 100% cranberry juice and grape cranberry. They just don't know how to leave cranberry out of their products. They got cranberry, grape cranberry, raspberry cranberry. Do a booty cranberry next. Cause you know, guys like to eat booty. So if people like cranberry, booty cranberry, it will sell out. <laughs> next. You know, because none of that juice is real, it's all from concentrate, I figured might as well balance it out and get some real green machine juice. If I get any fruit juice, I usually always get the green one. I feel like, this is like Popeye's the Sailor Man juice, you know what I mean? <sighs> Child, I'm almost done. And still I'm a little disappointed because this doesn't look like $400 worth of groceries, but whatever. Somebody gonna have to start paying my taxes because I'm done paying taxes if this is what my tax dollars get me. Like, the inflation is deflating and my food is deflating. Like, it doesn't make sense. More vegetables, bell pepper. Some pico de gallo, medium spice for, I really don't know what for, but girl, I love me some pico de gallo. I didn't even get chips. I think I did. Girl, we're gonna use it for, I love me some pico de gallo. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna eat that with. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna have to spend $600 because I'm still missing stuff. 
I still didn't get no chip from my pico de gallo. I'm gonna do it as we go. Velveeta cheese shells for sides. Warm up food. I got Hot Pockets, the ham and cheese one. These are my favorite. Oh, and then we got, what else is in here? Some lime juice. And then I got some shredded cheese. And some all already cut and peeled cucumbers. Because who has time to cut and peel cucumbers? Not me. Since y'all are not gonna help me put this up, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna go ahead and just keep wearing this since it's already dirty and I'll just throw it in the double dishwasher, but let me get started because I'm very, very hungry. Put your body on the kitchen table and move the dishes to the side. Wait, let me drive you crazy My 
cuddle, baby Wanna stay Let's get stupid lazy Stop, this is my favorite part Hold me like it's out of style Imagination is running wild Eternity is in your smile Hello, babe, snuggle, babe Hello, babe, snuggle, babe Hey, y'all! It's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.